Hello, Robin. Um, how are you doing? I'm glad to hear that you're chilling out. You're chilling out so much that you're actually busy chilling out. That made me, that tickled me. Um, it made me think you're like chilling out about stress and how when you're at university, obviously you're stressed all the time. But like, the life that I have here, I haven't really thought about it, but there's no stress involved in any form. Like, my job is meaningless. Like, nothing can go wrong with it. And then I have no other responsibilities. Like, the rest of the time I just do whatever I want. It's kind of weird that you can have a life with actually zero stress in it. Like, you could you can be stressed about social stuff, I guess, but generally I don't. Or like, if you got an illness, but like the the normal day to day things that people worry about all the time just do not exist here. It's kind of weird that that can happen. I think I I would swap a bit of stress for some more fulfillment, but if uh if I change my mind again, I can always come back and live my stress-free life for the rest of my days. Uh, what I've been doing this week, I, uh, there was a fire, there was, woke up one day and you couldn't see very far and it turned out that it was smoke from a fire in like, it's north of Edmonton, which is miles away, it's like an eight hour drive to where the fire was and it's like you can smell it and the sky is red and you can't see any of the mountains it was pretty mad especially considering how yeah like nowhere near here the fire was it, like i tell you what if there was a fire like a big forest fire right on top of you it would be bad like you couldn't breathe it must be awful but that kind of it was, first of all, it, like, in its own way, it was very pretty. Like, I always think whenever we get bad weather here, it's like, it's always beautiful in its own way. So that was kind of, it was kind of nice to see and like, look all the spooky, murky haze and that. But also it made me think like, I don't really know, like, I've only got like three weeks left now and I don't know what the weather's going to do and like, we might get another fire. So I got together a big hiking bucket list that I want to do before I leave and I'm making my way through that so it's like kick me up into gear. I did Mount Fernie first uh, which was good fun. I just went up on my own. It's like a, I was out for about six hours and it was nice good fun. It was nice to see how much snow there was on north facing stuff because generally all the stuff you see from the town is south facing apart from the resort but the way the, res the terrain on the resort is means that like the snow holds there unusually well so I wasn't really sure how it would be on the backside of Mount Fernie but anyway there's like not much so I reckon some of the like gnarlier hikes might be good like maybe I'll be able to do three sisters basically I just want to do three sisters but three sisters and Hiko's trail but I think I'll be able to do at least one of those uh, in the soon, in the coming days. Uh, yeah, the, the hike was really nice, good views and everything, lovely weather. Uh, it was not too hot up at the top because of the elevation, even though it was nice and sunny and everything. Uh, it did, it got, a, if I'm honest, it got a bit rowdy and a bit out of hand, like, to get home from the top, I left the trail and sort of, because I know the terrain quite well from ski touring and that, I just thought I'd like find my own way down, but it was it was a little bit much. It was good, a lot. Of, it was good fun, but not to be repeated. I think uh, we'll chill out a bit on the next hike. But yeah, that was good fun. And it was just nice to be outside and that. Uh, yeah, there's really not long left. I'm excited to come home, but I also am missing skiing a lot. 
yeah. I just have to ski a lot when I come home. Also, I was walking around town a couple of days ago and I just wandered into an art gallery to like see what was going on. And there's this there was this painting and I just love this painting. It's so like I've never really thought many paintings were that amazing, but this painting really got me. And I think I might buy it, which is not very me, but I think we can both agree when I treated myself, it was a bit weak. This would be frivolous, I'm just gonna get a thing that does nothing and spend loads on it. But it does look really nice. And it's a painting of a local mountain which would be quite a nice souvenir from the year in that. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll get that. I think I've thought about it enough now that I have to, but I just need to be definitely sure before I fork out for that. But yeah, doing pretty good at the moment. Hope you're continuing to hardcore chill out. Use all your energy for chilling out. And I'll catch you soon. Settled.